Hi, this is the second video of chapter 2, Perfect Competition. This video is about price controls. So just to begin, we know that there are two types of price controls. The first one is when the government establishes a price ceiling and the second one is when the government establishes a price floor. So here in this slide we are going to be with the maximum price, which is below the market clearing price. The market clearing price will be P0 and our new price being a maximum price or a ceiling price will be below this market clearing price. This is going to affect the quantity demanded and to the quantity supplied in the market. So first, the consumers will want to increase their demand as the price is now lower, so there will be some consumers that were not able to buy the product at the price of P0, but now they will be able to buy it, so they will demand the product. So the new demand will be Q2 at this lower price. From the producer's size, see this decrease in the price will also affect them, as now there will be some producer that will not be able to sell the product at this lower price as the reservation price is greater than this new price. So the quantity supplied will decrease until Q1. Okay? So we are thinking about a national market that is not open to the world as it is now. Then if the national producer are not able to offer the product, no one will do it. It means that the quantity exchange will be Q1. So the consumers will gain a surplus compared with the previous situation but we'll lose another area. The gain to the consumer is the difference between the rectangle A and the triangle B. Okay, so the consumers are going to gain A, but they are going to lose B. Because when they were in perfect competition, their consumer surplus was this area, this triangle. The triangle above P0 and under the demand curve. But now, the new price is Pmax, so the new consumer surplus will be above the maximum price and below the demand, but at the quantity of Q1. So they gain A, but they lose B. What happened to the producer? They are going to lose because when we have perfect competition, their surplus was this triangle. The area above P0 and sorry, be below P0 and above the, su the supply. But now, as the price has decreased, the triangle is smaller. So they are losing A and C. The new producer surplus will be this smaller triangle, below P max, above the supply. So the triangles B and C together measure the that we lost in this regulation after price control. What is the dead weight loss? It's the net loss of total surplus. It's a change in welfare for the whole society. Because the area B is lost by the consumers and the area C is lost by the producers. So the society as a whole is in a worse situation compared with perfect competition. Now imagine that the demand is sufficiently inelastic, like in this slide. So now the triangle B, as you can see, which is part of what the consumers are losing, is greater than the rectangle A. So in this case, when the demand is very inelastic, if there is a price control to be no more than P max, this will not benefit to the producers. This will, by the way, is going to mean a decrease in their surplus. Okay, so they will have a loss after this price control. Okay, so what happens when there is a price floor? When the price is regulated to be no lower than P2? That in P2 only Q3 will be demanded because the, at these quantities is where the price crosses with the demand curve. Okay, so if Q3 is produced, there will be a debt with loss given by the triangles B and C again. Why? Because at the price of P2, the consumers will 
have only this smaller triangle as a surplus, so they are losing A and B. And the producer are gaining A, but they are losing C again. Okay, so that the weight loss here will be minus B minus C. Examples of price floors, when we set a minimum price, if the price is larger than the equilibrium price, we can think about minimum salary or the price of unhealthy products like the tobacco or polluting products or a scarce product like petroleum. So this is again a price floor where the minimum price is set above the market clearing price. So here, as you can see, the consumer will only buy Q3, but the producer would like to supply in Q2 as the price has increased. So if the producer decides finally to produce in Q2, they will lose this difference between Q2 and Q1 also. So they will only they will not only lose the area C, but they will also lose the area D if they decide to produce in Q2. Okay, so they will gain A, but they will lose C and D if they produce in Q2 because only Q3 will be bought by the demanders or the consumers. So in this case, the producer could be worse off. It will depend what they decide, if they decide to produce in Q3 or if they decide to produce in Q2. So one of the examples of setting a price, a price floor, is the minimum wage. When the minimum wage is set above the market clearing wage, as here in this slide, there will be a gain added with loss. Why? Because now the firms are the ones that are demanding workers, demanding labor. So their surplus will be this small triangle instead of this bigger run. So the firms are losing A and B. But what happened with the producers? The producer of laborers who are the workers, it means that they will be in kind of a better situation compared to competitive market because they will be gaining the area A, but they will be losing C. Okay, so now the producer of work, their surplus will be this trapezoid, which includes this part and also A, okay, but they will be losing C. What happened with uh, the quantity of workers that be, will be hired? For the firms at this higher salary, they will only demand L1 workers, but as the salary has increased, more people will like to work, so the supply of workers will be L2. And the difference between the supply of workers and the demand by the firms will be people who is unemployed at this higher salary. So at the end, there will be also a debt with loss given by the triangles B and C, which are lost by the firms and by the workers. And that's all for the moment. See you in the next video.